Hi there, and uh, welcome back to the um, part B of the first week. So this is what you should basically have, and your uh, area should be dry for the second part here, okay? So what are we going to be doing for the second part? We're going to be putting our frame um, all around here, and I'm using music sheet paper for the bottom. You can use dictionary pages if you have, um, if you don't have the music sheets. Um, and I'm also using other scraps of papers as well and of course you can also watch the video and I explain all the pro uh, products that I'm using and things like that in the video so this is what I'm using right now and it's all very random I'm just um, I'm just cutting out pieces of paper okay and then when I have the pieces of paper that I want um, it's not perfect, you see. It's just, if it looks good to me, then then that's what I'll do. Now, I'm not Mod Podging, okay? I'm just going to glue. And I'm just laying it there. And I'm not putting it all the way down to the edge. Some of the edge is exposed. And that that's all right. And here in this one, I just did a little bit, brought my edging down over here. And I already had some pieces here. I wasn't going to let you watch me tear up piece, pieces of paper, but as you can see, they are all just, uh, and I'm overlapping. Okay. Uh, as you can see right here, right there, I just, I just overlap there. So there's a lot of that going on as well. And I don't like the looks of that one there. Yep, I like that one. So I flip that one upside down. See, I cut it up thinking, yeah, I like that. But now that I'm ready to lay it down, I don't like it. And I'm going to overlap it. And I think I'm going to bring this one over here. Oh, perfect. There we go. My puzzle is finished there. Okay. So, there. We're done with the music sheets. And so the next piece of papers you're going to need are just like strips of paper. And what I want you to do is just Crumple it up. Well, so all you do is just crumple it up. And then unravel your mess. Because in a sense you've just aged it. <laughs> okay, now, there we go. I'm just going to move this here. Now it doesn't have to go all the way across. It can be small. Um, and I'm just going to rip it in a diagonal and go right right there at the top. So I'm just going to glue this bit down. The more random you use, you know, um, in different colors, but they should coordinate, okay? Then the better your piece will look. So I'm just going to bring in some of this stuff right here. I'm just going to crumble it up and unravel it. Yep. I'm just going to lay it right across.
And you don't need a lot of this glue. And you'll notice with the glue too, it gets pretty sticky. It gets very sticky. Okay, so you still need some pieces there along the side. And I'm just going to bring in something a little bit different. Um, I'm just going to bring in some writing paper. And I'm going to tear it up on this side here. And I don't need a lot. And I'm going to need a little bit more there, but I'm going to put this up here. And this book was from a book my daughter got at the library. They were giving, selling books. And she saw this book. And it's like vintage and it tears so nice. And look, the edging at least. So cool. Um, I have no idea. One dollar she paid? What a great kid. I will be so sad when I run out of that stuff. <laughs> and I need a bit more glue here. Make sure that some of your edges, you know, um, most of your edges are down nice and flat. Okay, whoops. Okay, and I'm just going to grab here. Now this glue bottle is starting to go down on me here. Grr, 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 grr. Okay, so I'm noticing here I got a bit of a bare spot. And I don't like bare spots like this here. I don't like that. If you like that, that's fine. I don't like that. So I'm just going to go in reverse. And grab more of my paper. And I would, you know, if I had some on hand, I would even add in a different color. There. Okay. So there is your framing. Okay, so you should have something like this now. All right. And that is your first week's lesson. So I will see you in next week's lesson when we will, um, what are we gonna, we're gonna be uh, stamping. We're gonna be stamping, we're gonna be having some fun. So I hope you'll have some time to go hunt for some stamps. And um, I'll see you in the next uh, video. All right, have a good day, bye-bye. And have fun painting.